As tax season winds down, many of us are filing away a lot of documents. Some of us have papers going back many years, which begs the question, what financial records should be kept and for how long? Just this week, I've received statements from my bank, two credit cards, my investments, and my mortgage company. Shall I keep all those? Well, yes, but not forever. In many cases, these institutions provide an annual statement, usually in December, that recaps the whole year. Once I get that, I really don't need the monthly statements. And in time, I'm not going to need those recaps either. Now, records that I'll keep indefinitely include payoffs of loans, life and disability policies, and my estate documents like wills, powers of attorney, trusts. Among things I don't need to keep are certain old insurance policies. In the absence of a claim, there's really no need to keep documents related to expired homeowners or auto policies. On the tax front, the standard rule is keep your returns and your supporting documents for three years after you file. But as is the case with many tax issues, it's not quite that simple. Some records need to be kept for a long time, like cost basis records, home improvements, records of IRA contributions. If you don't do that, you could overpay your taxes. Now for details on these and other record keeping tips, see the post on our website titled, What Financial Records Should Be Kept and For How Long? And as always, if you have questions, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.